for us to come back from 17 down to the way we closed the half and have our spirit intact the way it was, to have our togetherness. Uh, uh, it, it, I'm very proud of that. You know, I'm really not a moral victory guy. Really not, especially tonight. But, but I'm proud of the way that they played because, uh, again, we did not close it well in, in the first half. But they came back, and um, we gave ourselves a chance to win. And um, um, we executed. We got really good play from a lot of different guys. And it wasn't beautiful by any stretch of the imagination, but, but uh, we played hard. So I'm, 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 uh, um, I'm proud of the way, you know, when you have a record that's tough right now in, in the last few weeks, I, I, since Texas, I'm proud of the way that they're bringing their practice game to the court because I thought we did that against LSU, and I thought we did that tonight. Um, so I'll, I'll just cover the, I'll cover the technical thing. Um, to my knowledge, uh, I'm 52 years of age, been head coach for 19 years, been an assistant and other, been coaching since I was 18 in college since I was 20. I've never seen that, not without a warning. And certainly without an explanation. So, um, my, my, so you know what my thought process is? I just saw something land on the floor. So my first reaction then is to go to the, grab the mic myself. We're in it together. I've done it my whole career as a head coach. And because that usually takes care of it. And usually takes care of it and usually don't have that problem again. And I've had officials in the past, you know, thank me for doing it, right? I mean, it's just part of the game. Um, but there was absolutely... Uh, I didn't even know. I didn't even know we assessed the technical until I turned the coaches tell me what's going on. So, not like anybody came and explained anything to me. And um, but that's all I'm going to say about it because that's the truth. And um, so I don't have a better answer because I've never, I've never, I've never been a part of that. I mean, I know what the rule says. I know the rule says that you've got to be able to know who did it. Well, it's pretty hard to know in that situation. And. Um, it's what we have, so go ahead. Coach, I just trying to get the timing down, it, it sounded like they called the technical after you went to the microphone. That's what, it's, that's what, I, that's what I've been told, which I, I, don't know, I don't know what sense that makes. But, I, but again, I just have to talk to the league and see what they say. But um, I do know, um, I, I shouldn't say I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can call one if you know whose fan base threw it. Um, so. Tom, the importance of it, obviously they had another free throw coming anyway. But they missed the first. Right. So the importance of them having that technical free throw, which gives them some margin for error, gives them a chance to Absolutely. miss the second one on purpose and you don't get it in. Yeah, it's a free free throw, basically, yeah. I mean, um, you know, it's the whole woulda, coulda, shoulda, hindsight's twenty twenty, whatever you want to call it. but. You missed the first, maybe you missed the second, and we're going to overtime. But we're never going to know. We're never going to know. So. <coughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just perplexed. As I know. No one out there would tell me what's going on. All right? And, and it's, it just makes zero sense to me. It really does. But i got to get over it because nobody did. Did you reach out to Dan Leibowitz or something like that? Uh, we'll deal with that behind the scenes yeah, later. But I, I did see a ruling. I mean, I did see what the rule is on that. But we'll, we'll just see what happens. I mean, it's not going to change anything. Well, Coach, you have a team that's been struggling lost all these games in a row, and then you fight, fight back for mm -hmm. 17 point deficit. You know, how frustrating is it to have a game in like this with a foul? Oh, it, 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 yeah, I'm not going it, it, to. Here, here's the bottom line. I keep saying this, and I know it sounds like a broken record. They're getting better. These guys are getting better. Okay, I mean, they really are, and I, and I hope all of you can see it. I know it's not moral victory and we didn't win the game. I got that, but they're getting better and improving. And like I said, they're bringing that practice game. You know, we've had some great practices all year. We just always, always, always haven't brought that to the game. But um, we just got to keep getting better from it and not let frustration set in or any of that type of stuff. My energy and my staff's energy and everything we'll try to do to make sure our players' energy will be as high as it can be after a disappointing night. Um, will be as high as it's been all year long. 
I guarantee it. You talk about getting better. I think this is one of the first times this season you guys were plus in the turnover margin. Yeah, I haven't looked at the stat sheet. I've been I mean, preoccupied. Just, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess in terms of the offense uh, on a general scale, how do you think you guys just – Took care of the ball a bit well, other than that little stretch at the end of the second or first half, I thought we did a good job. <clears throat> but we got we got a little flustered. You know, we gave up a couple buckets with our hands down, and uh, you know, we come out of timeout, we don't run it right. I mean, we had a couple of those situations, and and uh, they capitalized. But we responded. So that that's all you want. You want your team to respond, understand it's a long game, and let's keep going. And I thought they did that, and certainly. Not turning it over considerably. What were they supposed to margin? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was twelve to nine. Um, yeah, they, they, that, that's good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. It's positive, I guess. Anybody else? Coach Hallam said that what he noticed about your team is that they just don't quit. Yeah. Is that something that you coach to them, or that you? Well, I'd hope so. Yeah, yeah I'd hope so. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him. Last time we competed against each other was two thousand and three in the NCAA tournament, Sweet Sixteen, in the Metrodome. It's a lot warmer in here tonight than it was in that Metrodome that night, but uh, he's a great coach, a fantastic coach. I've got a lot of respect for him, um, and I think it's a mutual respect. To, uh, I, I consider him a friend, even though I don't see him a lot, uh, but I just have tremendous respect for him, and, and um, man, I think he's a great coach. Coach Tyreek, it's a big three kind of, kind of ball game. I know, you know seven seconds later, we'll remain, yeah. but you finally feel that might have been a uh, was going to be the, the, the shot or the, the Yeah, the we just needed to come down and get a stop, right, and then take it to OT. And, and um, we were right in, the, right in the vicinity of that. So now it was great execution out of the timeout. We had two options out of that, and we had plenty enough time, but we, the first one was there. So they executed. They, they came out of some other timeouts, uh, executed, and, and um, we, we, we got better in those areas. We just didn't get the result. Coach, what, what have you done to, to cut the turnover? I mean, it's been a, a drastic the last two games. Your turnover has been cut drastically. Um, I, I don't have a great answer for you because we, we want to play fast, but we don't want to be in a rush. And we're trying to get guys to understand that, this, that, that the simple thing matters. I mean, we, we've taken some steps in practice, uh, but I can't say we did that over the last two days as much. But our competition has been very strong in practice. And as there has been on the year, there's a penalty when you turn it over in a time score situation when we're practicing. But um, I, I think it's I think it's guys um, just understanding like if you really stay true to the space and 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 you and you stay with the action. You know, sometimes we're going to run a set that this is exactly what we want to get, especially when you call a timeout. And we didn't do that a couple times tonight. But then there's other times we did. And so it's the same thing when you're coming down on the break. Just make it simple. The majority of our turnovers come in the break, right? And we want to play fast, but we just, we just don't want to try to make something happen that's not there. We don't want to take a quick shot that it's not there. We want our spacing and our ball movement and our cutting to do the job. And so let's hope we can keep that up. It's certainly not going to be easy with Ole Miss's pressure on Saturday, but let's hope we can keep it up. Any more questions for Coach? All right, thank you. Thank you.